Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can ingest data into lake house using the copy activity. We are going to use the New York taxi sample data to do this ingestion. It's a sample data set which was given by the Azure itself. So let's go back to our fabric workspace. This is our fabric workspace right now. And I am under my workspace. Okay. And you can see it is fully empty. So what I wanted to do first step is create a lake house. Click that new go to the more options. Select the lake house option. I can name maybe NYC taxi LH. Okay. New York taxi lake house. So that's the name I am giving it. And once I create this lake house, I will be trying to ingest the data using the pipeline. So to get the data, we can go with this get data option, then the new data pipeline, or I can select this new data pipeline option here as well. So let me give a name for my pipeline. Ingest data to lake house. That's the name I want to give. Hit the create button to create the pipeline. When you see this kind of pop up, you can simply hit this close icon to cancel that. Now we are into the pipeline canvas. The immediate step will be adding an activity to the pipeline. So select that pipeline activity. I am going to hit this copy data activity because using the copy data only, I want to ingest the data into lake house. So copy data to LH lake house. That's what I'm naming it. I'm going to the source settings. If you see all these settings below actually coming because my focus is on the copy activity. If I click this gray area, you see the below settings change. That means these settings are for the pipeline level. Let me click the activity. I'm inside the source. So now I wanted to take the sample data which was given by Microsoft itself, which is called New York taxi. So under connections, select this more. Okay. Uh, and here, let me hit this. Yes. Cancel. Okay. Let me select once again, select more. You see that sample data option go there and uh, this New York taxi green. So that's the data set, which I am trying to say it basically a parquet files. So let's take that. So I am selecting that option. And you can see here clearly it has one data set called New York taxi green. We can see the data preview as well here, right? If you can see here, this is, this is the data preview of the same New York taxi green data set. So hit OK. So that's what I want to choose in the source that entire data set, whatever I have that I want to load that into the lake house, maybe under the files tab. So when you go to the lake house, we know that there is something called file section. That's where I want to load. So go back to my pipeline. And under destination, let me select my New York taxi lake house. And then let me select the files option. And here I wanted to give the path under files, maybe NYC taxi slash sample data. So under this path, I want that particular data to load. Okay. So once I give that, uh, let me, so I think I am good. So I have selected the source details here. I have selected the destination details here. So now I can hit this save button to save this pipeline. Once the pipeline gets saved, I can hit the run button here to run this pipeline. When we run that pipeline, the data will actually load from the source to the destination because that's what we configured inside the copy activity source to destination. When I click the white canvas here under output tab, I can see the pipeline execution here. Let's wait for pipeline execution to complete here. Pipeline execution was successful. Now if I go to the lake house under files, let me hit this refresh. I should see the data. So when I expand the file section, I am seeing New York taxi folder. When I expand C, I see the sample data folder. That's what the directory. Then all the subfolders. When I go every subfolder, 
I should see that months related folder. This is for years. And if I go inside, I should see that parquet file too. You can see the type is parquet. Okay. But parquet files, when we click to view them, we cannot view them directly here. So what I can do here at the New York taxi folder level, I can create a new table here. So select these three icons here, three dots symbol, then go to this new table option. So there should be a new table option. Let me make zoom little bit smaller. Okay. You see load two tables and I am going to select the new table option. So let me let let the name like NYC taxi and the data is in parquet files format and let's include all the subfolders also because they hold year by year data for the New York taxi information. Let me hit load button to load that particular all the parquet files under New York taxi folder including the subfolders and create a table. The table will come under the tables folder here. You can see that the table creation is in progress. Great. We can see that table got created successful. And if I open the tables here, I should see New York taxi table. Let me refresh this table. And when I click this table, I should see the data preview as well. So that means we are able to successfully ingest the data using the copy activity into the lake house. And we have taken the source as the New York taxi sample data which was given out of the box within the fabric from Microsoft. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a slight idea how to ingest the data using copy activity into the lake house. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more such good content. Thank you.